beautiful people of the interwebs. Welcome back. Um, we have got a few things to go over before we get started. Uh, so fair warning, there is going to be some talking from me before there is any actual playing of the game because quite a few things have been changed since I last played, at least quite a few for me. Um, for one thing, uh, when I was last playing, I said I was gonna run off to maybe work on my lighting mod. Uh, I've had the same lighting mod ever since whenever it was, feels like it was forever ago, but um, it's the only one that I've tried. Uh, and I've tried it in different ways. Um, I've tried to change different, um, uh, different options with it and mess around with it and I'm never completely satisfied with it so I thought it probably behooved me to go and try some of the other lighting mods before I make a commitment to ELFX. Uh, so I have uninstalled ELFX not necessarily permanently um, just for now so that I can try something else and by the way if you're wondering why you're looking at this beautiful beautiful sky as standing next to the Asteria seeing as how when we last stopped uh, it was the middle of the day and we were in solitude uh, you haven't missed anything. I've just been fast traveling back and forth as I have been adding things and adjusting them, checking performance, making sure everything's okay. So it's just been fast traveling back and forth. Woo! No action until <laughs> until just now. What is happening? <laughs> Wait a minute. We have things to talk about. We can't. We can't. Okay, everybody, calm down. Well, actually, um, Bree killed him. So, good for you, Brie. <sighs> the hell was I saying? Anyway, so yes, that's why I'm here, but don't worry about that. I'm gonna pause while I tell you about this, just in case we get attacked again. So, the first, uh, or the second lighting mod I'm trying that I have installed now is um, Realistic Lighting Overhaul, also known as RLO, by the Realistic Lighting Team. Um, my main problem with ELFX is I really love like 85% of it and 15% of it really annoys me. But I don't think, in my opinion, it isn't end user customizable enough so that you can change and tweak certain things. I love the way the dungeons look. They're fantastic. And I love the way a lot of the light sources look. Um, but some of the inns and a lot of the shops really take me out of the game because no one would ever light their shop that they wanted you to come and feel comfortable in and shop in so dark that you feel like you're going to get killed and possibly eaten any moment. And unfortunately, as far as I could tell, the option to change that, uh, to, to undo the changes in inns and shops is the exact same one that affects the dungeons. So you can't have one without the other. And to me, those are two completely different categories and they should be different options. You should be able to keep the dungeons and say, don't do the interiors, and then be able to go get another mod that's specifically for interiors, a smaller mod just for that. But you don't have that option, or at least I couldn't find it if you do. If I am wrong, please tell me in the comments what I'm doing wrong, because maybe I can get ELFX to work the way I want it. But when I installed RLO, um, it seemed to have a lot of options, a lot more customizing that you could do than ELFX did. Just to start with, I installed it at default um, so we could see how it looks to begin with. And then as I'm like, okay, that could be darker. Oh, I don't really like that. Then I'll go in and keep messing around with each of the options until we get it to as close to perfect for me as, as I can get it. Um, and then while I was gone, I also installed, um, I wrote everything down because <laughs> I can remember it all. I installed ENB Boost by Boris Borentsov, which is supposed to be a performance enhancer. I should probably say that differently. That sounds like something else. But it's supposed to give the performance of the game a boost. Um, and it works on the ENB series sort of like foundation files. Um, this shouldn't change anything visually. It should just help with any kind of FPS drops. Um, uh, you know, and help the, I guess, the mods not use as much resources or whatever. Wasn't having a lot of problems, but I thought it might help. It might not do anything. Uh, whatever it does, it shouldn't interfere. And let's see. Right, and then after I did all that, which took me forever. Oh, and I was going back and forth between Solitude and the Asteria uh, when I was doing this, specifically because those are the two places I'd really noticed frame rate drops. 
Um, if we go in here, Bree, don't get killed. It was down in the, did you see how fast that loaded? That was crazy. It was down in um, the lower decks, I think it was. When we first went down there, the FPS that I was recording, I'm using Fraps, um, was at 18. And it was at a steady 18 the whole time we were down there. Really, I mean, it didn't make it impossible to move around, but it wasn't pretty to look at. Um, certainly not pretty to record. And I even tried turning off everything, my, my webcam, uh, fraps, and everything else that, that might be running and going in and it got an FPS of 22. That's nothing else running. I was like, what? That doesn't even make any sense. But after I installed, and this is stupid of me, I installed RLO and ENB Boost at the same time, so I actually don't know which had an effect. You would think it would be ENB Boost, but I can't be sure. Um, I went down into the, the lower decks again and no longer had the 18 FPS problem. And here we are, and the FPS is staying pretty steady. Uh, staying around 30, maybe dropping to 29 now and then, but we're not getting that icky problem uh, that we had before. Not even looking down there at all that busy stuff. So that's really great. Um, I wish I could say thank you to a particular mod, but because I'm an idiot and installed more than one at a time, which you're not supposed to do, um, I, I'm not even absolutely positive which is responsible. And then after I was done with all of that, with the, the lighting and the ENB stuff, which is really freaking complicated because you can't do it with NMM, don't even get me started on that. Um, I decided to install something just for me, just because I wanted something nice for me. And I installed a bandolier bags and pouches by Drag10. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to have that. Um, basically, it gives us an option to be able to increase carrying capacity in a kind of role play friendly, lore friendly sort of way. It gives you the ability to craft bags and pouches and book holders and all sorts of you know little sacks you can put around yourself to help you be able to carry more items more efficiently and in so doing it would increase your carrying capacity which is kind of the way things work in real life if you don't believe me just ask a backpacker um, and that will allow us to increase uh, our carrying capacity without having to put anything in stamina which I don't really want to do because I'm, I'm focused on magicka uh, or work in the heavy armor tree, which I'm obviously not doing much of to try to get up to that perk that gives you an extra hundred. Or, and this is the part that always gets me, finding the steed stone, activating it, and never ever getting to use another stone ever again because I really need that extra hundred points of weight. So I'm very excited about that. I hope that it works uh, the way it's intended and I don't have any problems with it. Because if so, that is gonna be a godsend for me. Um, that, I think, is all the changes that I have made. Uh, I didn't do extensive testing. I did a bit of testing. If we do have problems, you know, I could still make tweaks going forward and uh, just try to just try to ignore. If we do have problems, you know, obviously I'll notice them and I'll work on them for the next session, but hopefully everything will be okay. Now, as long as we are here at the Asteria, I'm sure that there is some stuff that I should leave behind. For instance, this freaking thing. I don't know, should I keep it for a while? Maybe I should keep it for a little while. You know, try it out. But I'm sure there's some other stuff that I picked up that I can leave behind. Isn't there? I could have sworn there was. Books? Wait. All right, now I'm really confused. I thought I had a bunch of stuff that I was gonna... Oh, I should have taken a closer look at my inventory before I started. Because I could have sworn. Great, the blade sword. Ugh. To anybody who is screaming at the screen, the blade sword, you're gonna leave behind the blade sword. I apologize. Um, and I wanted to leave behind the blade sword because of its weight. I'll just leave it here. Oh, doesn't that look nice? 
because of, it, because of its weight and because I'm going to be wielding Dawnbreaker, um, her Meridia's, I guess it was her request, but it felt like a demand when she was holding me um, far above the world. It was really scary. So I'm going to be using that. Um, Some of this stuff I can just sell. I mean, this stuff is gross. I'll try those on before I decide to sell them. Hmm. Hey, she doesn't look too bad in those. Does she? Maybe I'll keep them. It might be good for being in town and get people to stop talking about my robes. I guess while I'm here, I can do some alchemy. It's weird, I just felt like there was more that I was going to leave behind. Oh my gosh, look at all my spell tomes I didn't read! Ah, so dumb! I spent so much money and I didn't even read them. Yeah. Some of these are really, really cool. I'm looking forward to trying them. Especially the illusion ones. All right, that actually reduced our weight below 200 because I had so many. Okay. Weird. I feel like there is more I want to leave behind, and I'll probably think of it uh, when we're somewhere else. But in the meantime, while in here, I might as well. That button. Yeah, that button. I don't have a lot of ingredients. I don't know if any of it will even match up, but I might as well give it a try. Look at that. Discovered all the things. Makes me happy. something about void salts. Eh. Eh, what else have we got? Anything? Hmm. Yes, please. I always use more resist fire potions because I can't find what I really want. Let me do this. Average stamina, and then also make them weaker to poison. Oh, that fortifies block. Then never mind. That's fine. I'll just put that. Yeah, because I can't find anything that will uh, let me enchant things with resist fire. I'm really glad that whatever happened, this room was essentially fixed. I'll just take that sweet roll. Dragon Priest Dagger! Hey, that's really great! Because my Dragon Priest Dagger is on Janassa's dead body. Moment of silence for Janassa. I'm gonna take that. And I'm gonna leave my Dwarven Dagger behind. And I know that I still need to improve and enchant the other one, but... Um, yeah, I'm going to leave this behind. Oh, it's adorable. That's way too tidy for that plaque. Are there any dagger ones? You know, those little ones that open with the lid? Did you notice any? Don't answer me. I can't hear you. Well, I guess I should go see if I can improve. I'm afraid as soon as I walk out of this room, I'll realize something else I wanted to do. But I guess I'll go up top and see if I can improve. Uh, I'm so afraid that if I take that gold, that dagger will fall over. That always seems to happen. 
so I'm going to leave it there because I like the dagger where it is. Hey, there's another bookshelf. Is there anything I can leave here? That would be great. Where is volume two? part of a series, part six. Part of a series, that's not really mine. I don't know how many volumes of this there's gonna be, but I feel like there's at least four. Nope. Oh, I read that. I can sell that one. And I did want to find a good place for the Book of the Dragonborn, but I never managed to do that. I said I was going to do it, and then made sure to not actually do it. I feel like I already have that book somewhere, but um, that's right. I didn't have that much to leave behind, I guess. But it's okay, because we're going to make like pouches and stuff. And uh, I don't know why all of my stuff is kind of like falling over. No, don't make everything else fall over. I'm trying to get you to stand. Uh, it's not gonna work. You're on the ledge. No, 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 no. Ah. All right. Well, now I mess up everything else. Whatever. Whatever. Oh. What's this? Have I been in here before? Oh, it's just another way into the bedroom. Well, it is 4 a.m. Oh, I turned up the look sensitivity. It might be a little bit too high. I also got my other controller. This is my third controller that I've tried for this Let's Play. First one got a sticky A button. The second one keeps saying I'm pushing the right stick when I'm not pushing the right stick every time I'm trying to lock pick or pick locks, but not at any other time, only during that. So I'm hoping that this one, which is my newest one, will not have any of those problems. It looks so nice, but it also looks like it could flood my bedroom at any given moment. And today I went with an organic ale. It's a Samuel Smith Pure Brewed Organic Lager Beer with organic malted barley, organic hops, yeast and water. And it is not the slightest bit exceptional, but it's fine. Now I'm gonna take a shower. <laughs> oh, good! I didn't even realize I had this on. You know, this is the uh, the only time it has ever occurred to me why I might want a nudity mod. You know, I would like to get... I've look, tried to look at underwear mods. Why are all the underwear mods like ridiculous bedroom lingerie? For the Dragonborn. I'm not going to be running around in a camisole with like... I mean, maybe a thong. Okay. But with like lace and stuff, it's going to be... It's going to fall off. It's not going to... It's not realistic. So I was trying to find like some reasonable underwear mods, couldn't find any. So I don't know, maybe a nudity mod would be better than, uh, than these nasty underwear. At least then when I go to take a shower, it's a little more realistic. Do you shower in your underwear? I bet you don't. <laughs> <laughs> 